Welcome to the coffee shop, everybody. This is your host and barista. And in today's video, I am going to show you how I stay in my own effing lane. In today's video, I'm going to show you how when there is not enough volume and not enough momentum in the market, I don't wait around for things. Instead, I'm going to squeeze what I want out of the market. You know what to do. Get in there, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's follow how I squeeze the market when it's ranging. So one of the ways that you know that you can have confluence in trading, either bullish or bearish, is when you're using your Heiken Ashi algo and you're using the bull bear power, power void, you need adequate volume to the upside, right? Uh, let's just talk about the bull bear for a second. You need adequate volume to the upside, which looks like this. You need a green background with a volume bar that breaks outside of the void, right? And that means you have movement to the upside. And here you can see that, yes, a Heiken Ashi candle breaks to the majority outside of that range. You already know that you can trade up from there, right? You can, you can enter and go long from there. But the difference is what happens when you get a, 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 a confluence to the downside or the upside, you get a candle breaking outside of the range, right? like we do let's see here okay so here we have a nice candle breaking to the outside this candle is also breaking below a support and resistance level and it is below a uh, 50 period ema right as an example i'm using the 50 period ema just for my setup so what do you do at this point at the right here you have your candle that is uh, breaking to the downside, okay? You have a wick on this one that breaks below your Heiken Ashi. So this, this is your setup and this is your actual entry, right? And here you have a candle that opens and closes, this one right here, this little one. This one opens and closes below your 50 and below your, uh, your support and resistance level. Now, this tells you there's one thing that tells you here, you are still in a ranging market. Even if you do not see this little indicator on the bottom of your Heiken Ashi algo, this is just a way for you to know that you are in a ranging market, right? So you have that indicator right there. This tells you that the close of this candle, I'm sorry, the close of this candle is the midline of your range, right? Let's put this on the other side here. Now you have to understand something. You have to be ready for something here look for your previous range okay you can see that this candle uh that high can actually went up to here came down to here and that's basically here from this height to this height you can immediately draw that range out okay you can immediately draw that range out and that's you can see it here high can actually went up to this level came down to this level one candle back so this one breaks outside the range but this one does not okay that is going to be this candle and this candle so you can immediately draw this range out right and you have just now drawn a range that you are going to trade right through it so you see this take place okay you see this take place again this is for people on higher time frames and again there is no colored background in your volume which means you don't have an actual trade to the downside you simply have a good volume to the downside, but that is only because price is too high and it needs to be pushed down to a better fair price. So you can enter, okay, you can enter a short trade here, right, at the close of this candle, whatever it was, high or low, and go to the bottom of that range and catch a safe move. This will be one and three quarter percent, right? Find your swing high, which is the previous high close outside of the algo that's wait here right here's a high close here's a high close way over here i'm going to take this one um just lining up to that candle way over here right that's the high close if you have the mass effect moving average you can see your high right there it's that line right there always set yourself just outside of it and again i am just allowing myself on a one hour time chart to catch a move to a new ranging area and i did this by i see a wick clear the range the next candle 
breaks outside of the range and I still do not have a tradable background color on my, on my volume oscillator, but I do have volume to the downside. This usually means do not enter a trade for a short, but this also means you are going to range to the downside. So this ends up doing this very next candle. One hour later, you end up catching your 1.7%. Now, let me just shrink this down so we can get a better visual, right? I want to see where this goes to. I'm going to look for the previous swing low, which is way down here, here, right? So you entered there. And this is the last time it swung down really low. It's not that far from it. Let me just draw a line right there. And you got an hour to decide these things on, uh, you know, one hour time frames. That's why I was saying these are for really, you know, people that are trading high time frames. And now you can continue your take profit down here, right? And you would catch some more of the pips. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move myself to um, in profit. So that means at this point, I could gain an additional 0.63%. And what happens? Let's just play oh, right there. I already caught it. It's right here. So I end up catching this move down a little bit further. And if I continue to stay here, it's probably a bad idea because I could see that the trend is already moving up, right? If I stayed here, I should get out of this trade at this point. Sure enough, yes, it ends up going right back to the top of the range. Now, what tells me that it's going to the top of the range? Let me pull this back here and I'll show you again the same setup. This is trading from one end to the other of a range, right? Let me shut the mass effect off. Okay. I'm simply using uh, support and resistance levels that are already here. Okay. Let me take this one off. I'm going to take this range out what no let me leave the range in uh, i'm gonna do that and i am looking at my bull bear power void right you can see that entered a tradable area here to the downside but we already knew that we were in a range okay the only thing i could have really done is gone from here down to my you know previous swing low you can see the price goes from here to here previous swing low is right here right and i'm looking way over here right there right see and it I don't want to do that. So at this level, that's my previous swing low and it would have caught that, right? So what is happening here that tells me in a ranging market that I can catch this move to the upside? Let me just swing this down here, do this. I want to be able to see things a little bit cleaner. There we go. Now, again, if I have a um, high Kinashi candle that is not cooperating with my tradable area or non-tradable area of my volume, then that means I'm in a range and everything is pushing against each other. So here I have a move to the downside, but a break of my average. I am above my average RSI. Now I'm about to close above the midline, right? Let's go here. RSI is now, oh yeah, RSI here is already in the positive. Yeah, this is the first one where it's in the positive. And I'm above, a majority above my uh, my average. It never made it outside of this range. So again, I'm in a range. I have a new bottom to my range, right? So this one is majority above. This is my new range. I can't really move this this way, but this is my new range. Okay. There. <clears throat> uh, I've broken uh, into the range. I'm in the range above average RSI. My volume is still to the downside, but it's less than the average. I want it to be just inside the average. This is ranging in your volume right there. Here I have a break, okay, of my volume range. There we go. But I am not in a tradable area. This wick is touching the top of the range. So, at this point, I can target my previous swing high, which is here's the high right there. Just the wick sticking outside of the algo. So I'll take this, move it to here right there, the close of that candle and target that area. So the close of this candle, I enter and go right here. That's what I want. Now I can set two take profits and let me do that, right? Let's set two of them. I got one here 
and I'm setting the other one for the take profit, the last swing high. This is a liquidity area, okay? It touched here, it touched here, and then it touched higher. I'm gonna go for the second highest one, right there, okay? Right there. Now, we've got one take profit here, one take profit here. Let's see how this plays out. Skip it forward. So we already hit the first one right there, right? Already hit the first one. Let me just kind of slide this over so we can grab the other one. So we already hit this one right here and hit it again. Now, I need to make sure that this one has a proper swing low, which is here. The actual low is here, but I'm going for this right there. There, right there. Ends up breaking just outside that range. So that's how you end up doing range trading with this. You can enter when you have non-confluence, okay? You have a clear break of your RSI. You're above the average. You know you can get to the top of that range. You're just targeting the top of the range. This is scalping, okay? Taking long trades is when you break outside the range. But if you're breaking above your average and you have above average volume, you can enter, see, here above average volume in a non-tradable area, but you are above the average RSI, okay? And you break above your range, okay? You closed above your range. This is the setup. This is telling you, hey, I'm on my way. So you can enter here or you can enter here. And you nine out of 10, you target the last time that it broke outside the range. Here, the wick went outside the range. Here, you have a high close outside the range, okay? You could have targeted this price level. And sure enough, let me draw a line right here, this price level. If I go to the left, uh, back to the right, you can see right there that yes, that very first trade that we took, price came above that level, above that level. It did a good job. All right, people, there you go. Uh, a bit on the technical side, but easy to follow, I hope. And it was just a playback of some range trading that I do on a regular basis on higher time frames. So I will see you all next time at the coffee shop. Peace.